What's up JR Aviation? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Oshkosh. So I really hope you guys enjoyed our overview video. Um, that was a ton of fun to make, of course, but in that video we mentioned how we would be doing separate mini videos, mini uploads focusing on specific topics and really going in depth on that. So that is what this video is all about today. Yeah, so some of our favorite topics and this one in particular is the Sunflyer and what is underneath the cowling. So we get a special behind the scenes kind of look at what it's all about, what's going into it. And I'm super excited for that because I have a little idea of what it is. I know that it's built from the ground up, purpose built to be the best electric airplane possible, like Tesla of the skies, really groundbreaking stuff. So I can't wait to share that all with you yeah, guys. Yeah, what's, what's inside behind the cowling. As we mentioned last video, as you guys know, we are new reservation holders of the Sunflyer electric airplane, and you guys can be as well. So for just $5,000, you can lock in your spot, lock in the price, because every day they're getting new reservations, so it's good to lock it in now so that you know when you're getting it and you're getting it before other people. So, And they did extend the exclusive offer, so if you mention JR Aviation, tell them we sent you, then you will be getting a scale desktop model, which is not cheap, really high quality thing, um, right when you make your reservation. So that's kind of cool, a little freebie. Or email us with any questions. Guys, we are very familiar yes. with this plane now, we know a lot about it, or of course the contact information for Buy Aerospace will be linked down below if you want um, more yeah. information from it for them, but we can fill you in on a lot of stuff about yeah, it. Yeah, if you mention JR Aviation, we would be happy happy to answer any questions that you might have, do what we can to uh, get you into something like an electric airplane, show you ours when we get it. That's our goal, to document everything with this plane. But I hope you guys are excited for this video. We're gonna go uh, meet up with George Bai, founder CEO of the company, and he'll show us around the model that they have here at Oshkosh, like the actual motor, the actual battery packs, like this is, yes. this is. This, uh, yeah, this is getting installed into the plane as we speak. And it's cool because there's a couple um, new partnerships that they've announced, so they've locked in some of the suppliers. So I mean, they are, they are ready to go, ready to scale up once this thing gets certified, be, be on their way. Yeah, rock and rolling. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new. Be sure to drop a comment down below. What do you think about electric airplanes? Is it the future? We surely think it is. Um, and let us know what you think of this setup, the battery packs, all this good stuff. It's super intriguing, super fascinating. So I hope you guys enjoy and we will take you inside their booth now. Let's get to it. All right, so if you all remember from last year at Oshkosh, there was the whole Sunflyer 2, but we couldn't quite take a look inside of it, but this year we can, and we're with George Bry. Great to have you here. Thanks for, thanks for uh, going through it with us. This is the prototype of the Siemens motor right here. Okay. It's a 90 kilowatt electric motor. It's got three phase going in. Here's the actual motor controller. Okay. Now this controller, provides the computer inputs for the motor to be run smoothly at all power settings. So this is the brand new Siemens motor in the front, motor controller, and then you can see back here we have five battery packs. These have the lithium ion battery cells inside, five of them, of them here, and of course some more back behind the cabinet. But this literally provides 90 kilowatts of power, about 120 horsepower to fly the air. All in such a compact package and um, and super, super sleek design. We talked about maybe last year with the cowling, how there's no two big intakes for drag and cooling, but rather uh, super sleek to, to achieve those performance numbers that he was just mentioning. And speaking of performance, we were talking about altitude a little bit and how you don't lose the performance because you don't need oxygen for this engine, of course. So that's a huge plus to electric. You all are probably familiar with Tesla and R2 Teslas. I have the 90 kilowatt hour Tesla Model X, and the Model 3 has a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack, I believe. So this is 92 kilowatt hours. Wow, bigger than both so of them. Just a little both. bit bigger than that big one. Wow. Yeah, than the Tesla. A little bit. Wow. So that should take you um, so, because the Tesla Model X weighs what, 6,000 pounds, and yeah. you still achieve a great range, but even more with um, probably a lighter overall uh, design and just purpose-built design cutting through the air. It should take you far. Awesome, and where are all the batteries gonna be stored? Are so all of them right these here? these in front, and then behind the cabin, there's another set of batteries. So you have these in front, the second set behind the cabin, and of course the motor and controller. Yeah. But 92 kilowatt hours provides that three and a half hour flight time. Jeez. Wow. 
That has got to be the biggest thing to me. That kind of endurance out of electric aircraft, that, that's incredible. Yeah, that's awesome. You go up flying for a couple hours with some yeah. friends and that's really all you need and you still got plenty left There's over. So much reserve. I mean, you'd, you'd have to be on a long cross country to, to use all that. And of course it's fun too because our top speed's 138 knots. Jeez, <laughs> not, not miles per hour. Take that and, and that 100 and over 150. So would that be close to 150 100, miles yeah, per hour? 150 miles an hour, more than 150 miles. Wow. So with the Sunflyer 4, you were mentioning how a little bit bigger, you're gonna have some uh, additional batteries and well, slightly faster. Yeah, so the Sunflyer 4 has the same basic layout. Instead of a 90 kilowatt, it has 105 kilowatt. So All right. a little bit bigger, a little bit more torque behind that propeller. Another set of batteries, so 150 knots and over four hours. So four hours and 20 minute flight endurance yeah. plus the reserves. Yeah. How, how far does that put the range? Yeah, so the, the range is 250 nautical miles for the Sunflyer 2 and wow. 400 nautical miles for the Sunflyer 4. Wow. That is something I'm so excited about because Jeffrey talked about we're moving. Where might that get us? Yeah, so if we're moving to the Phoenix area, that could potentially get us close to Vegas, in California, yeah. into Utah, Grand Canyon, New Mexico. So that gets you very, very far from that area. And remember, guys, this is with current like technology batteries as it sits right now but in the future they're constantly gonna get better and better and better just like our Tesla they keep getting better and better and better when with battery densities and technology so yeah. these numbers will improve in the future whereas gasoline will struggle to get much yeah, better that's right, exactly right. Um, you're gonna be targeting a lot of flight schools because this will immensely change the game when it comes to learning operating cost adds enormously to the um, to the, the cost to get your license or the cost just to get out there and fly yeah so operating costs I'm sure that's three something. dollars per flight hour three oh my goodness per flight hour for electricity compared to a conventional airplane which is 45 or 50 dollars holy moly yes. so a great great savings all of this now we've started the FAA our certification program so in just the last few months we've been meeting with the FAA we're getting all of this ready to be produced so FAA certification is like you know getting getting a drug qualified for medicine yeah. getting the airplane qualified for sale by the FAA means it's safe and ready to go to the customer and speaking of milestones, we just had a first flight uh, pretty recently, earlier this year. That's right. And that was Back awesome to see it get airborne. Right. Is the finish line almost in sight? Probably. Getting very close. Very close. So estimated delivery times, I know it's a Under little. two years, mid-2020. That's awesome. Right around the corner. And this will completely train, change air transportation and the aviation industry, which is super exciting. Thank you so much for this in-depth look at the Sunflyer under the cowling. And the new motor going yeah. into these planes. Awesome this news. Brand new motor right here. So there exciting. it is. Very cool. Look at that. Wow. Awesome to see. All right. Well, thanks so much for the tour and uh, can't wait for future news with this plane. All right. Here we go. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. We certainly have been keeping up with all the progress that they've made, but a couple of those things were new to us, and it was great to see it in person, what's gonna be in our plane. Yeah, that Siemens electric motor was super cool, and the battery packs, mm -hmm. and to think it has the battery packs, more kilowatt hours yeah. than our Tesla right oh here my as goodness. we're walking up yes. to it. So we're getting back, we spent, uh, we brought the Tesla out here, and this, I don't know, 6,000, probably like over 6,000 pounds, is bringing 90 kilowatt hours of battery pack. And they have more kilowatt hours in a lighter application, and a way yeah. more efficient application. Yes, so. yeah, streamline, that thing will be cutting through the air, going so quick. We talked about the cruise speed and the top speed of the plane. Pretty cool. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed that technical video. It was very, we, we, he went in depth on all these parts on the planes, but there's so much more to cover. That was just like the powertrain. There's so much more with the design, yeah. interior, yeah. avionics, but we want to cover all of that in future videos. So mm -hmm. we'll be, we'll be flying out to their headquarters in Colorado. I'm sure quite a few times to take a look at the plane. We'll see tons of good content on the horizon. That's why you need to subscribe. Cannot wait and we will see you all in the next one.